A quick word of warning before we get into the video. This tutorial is going to be legendary. Start the music. In this tutorial, we'll cover the basics of this worker, explaining everything that you'll ever need to know about the mine colony's cowhand. The cowhand, also known as the cowboy, is an essential part of your colony's food production. They tend to herded cows within their huts holding pens, supplying your colony with products from them, such as milk, leather and raw beef. The cowhand will breed together any adult cows within their huts area, then care for and nurture the resulting baby calves until they too become adults. It's at this point in the cow's life where the cowhand will then show them a neat little axe trick, which I'm sure that the cow finds most amusing. The cowhand's hut is classed as a husbandry build within the agricultural category. The hut block can be created by using a piece of raw beef, alongside wooden planks of any type, and a build tool. After construction, a cowhand will be assigned to the hut if it has been set to automatic hiring. The cowhand will not catch and bring back any cows to their hut. You, the player, will need to supply them with their cows. Cows can easily be manoeuvred back to their hut by using a piece of wheat to lure them, or by attaching a lead to them and dragging them back. Although I will admit, some cows can be quite stubborn and really don't like being moved in this way. The cowhand only tends to cows within their huts area, so all cows will need to be steered directly into the holding pens of the hut for the cowhand to get to work. It is advisable to supply the cowhand with two cows to begin with, so that they have enough to begin breeding them and start supplying their products to the colony. There are a few settings for you to play around with within the cowhand's hut interface, which we will go into more detail about later on. These settings include if your cowhand will breed their cows together, if your cowhand will feed their cows, and if your cowhand will milk their cows. Cowhands will need a few tools in order to tend to their herd, and will require axes to butcher their cows, as well as wheat to feed them, and empty buckets to milk them. Although depending on the settings that you toggle for them, then they may need all, or only some of these items. The cowhand only tends up to two cows at a time per each hut level. So, for example, with a level 1 cowhand's hut, they can only tend up to two cows. With a level 2 hut, they can tend up to four cows, all the way to level 5, where they can tend up to a maximum of 10 cows at a time. Cowhands are primarily set to only raise vanilla Minecraft cows, but they may be able to work with other modded cows, so long as those cows are coded in a similar way to vanilla ones with normal breeding behaviours. They will collect any modded materials dropped upon butchering the animal. If the cowhand has been set to breed their cows, then they will butcher any cows over the amount that they can tend to at their current hut's level. So if your level 1 cowhand has 3 or more cows within their hut's area, then they will butcher any adult cows until they are left with a maximum of 2 cows for that level. The cowhand will use an axe to butcher their cows, with the type of axe that they use being dependent on their hut's level, and the damage they deal to the cows being dependent on their own athletics level. They will pick up and store any drops from the slaughtered animal, which allows you or your colony's couriers to collect them for use. Cowhands will only butcher adult cows and will not harm baby calves, so no veal for your colony, I'm afraid. The cowhand will continuously breed cows together to keep producing products for the colony. They do this by using wheat to breed together two adult cows to create a baby calf, just in the same way that we the player breed cows together. The cowhand will feed wheat to newly born calves to speed up their growth timer, right up until they too become adults. At which time, 
They can then be bred together with other adult cows, and the cycle continues. Just as a little heads up, these builds will require a shed ton of wheat to be delivered to them constantly, so that the cow hand has enough to breed and feed their herd. So just make sure that your colony can keep up with the wheat demand, or there will be hell to hay. Alongside breeding and butchering their cows, cow hands can also be told to milk their cows within their holding pens. They will require an empty bucket in order to do this, and will head out to milk their cows whenever they aren't breeding, feeding or butchering them. They will then store the resulting milk buckets within their hut storage for you or the colony's couriers to pick up and use. Alongside regular cows, the cow hand can also tend to the rarer mushroom variety of cow. They can breed, feed, butcher and milk any mushroom that are held within their holding pens. So if the boring old vanilla cows just aren't doing it for you, then why not replace the cow hand's herd with the much more colourful mushroom variety. The cow hand uses the athletic skill as their primary trait, where they will level it up as they continue to work. A higher level in the skill will allow them to do more damage to cows with their axe. They use the stamina skill as their secondary trait, where they will also milk this as they continue to work. A higher level in this skill results in the baby calves growing up faster through feeding. One issue which I've run into over the course of my many Mine Colonies playthroughs is to do with the milking of cows. If the milking option has been toggled on within the cow hand's hut, the cow hand will request empty buckets so that they can milk their cows. This works perfectly for buildings which require milk buckets for use, such as a bakery to make products with, but as with most things, the cow hand usually takes things a bit too far. I have found that the cow hands will request empty buckets quite often in an effort to continuously milk their cows. If they are not supplied with one, then they will still continue to request one to be brought to them, but will also still go about their other daily duties as per normal. However, if you have taught your blacksmith the recipe for empty buckets, then the blacksmith will create empty buckets for the cow hand each and every time that they request one. The cow hand will milk a cow once they receive an empty bucket in, which will eventually make its way to your colony's warehouse, until you end up with a mountain's worth of milk buckets in storage. Anyone have a calculator to see how many we have? So my advice to those who want the cow hand to milk their cows, but not go too far with it, is to not teach the colony how to make empty buckets. Have a set amount of empty buckets within the warehouse, which the cow hand can request and use whenever they are going to milk a cow. They can't go overboard with milk buckets if they are limited to only so many buckets within the colony, and can only use the ones that are empty whenever required. Another issue that you may find with your cow hand's hut is that the cows that they are tending to will probably end up escaping their holding pens. Whether by finding a block to use to jump over the fence, or by quickly escaping through an opened gate, those little rapscallions will certainly find a way out, one way or another. I'm getting deja vu about those bloody escaping sheep again. The real issue of this comes from the cow hands themselves, who will rush out to breed more cows to replenish the numbers of the escaped ones. And then those new cows will also escape, and so the cow hand will continue to breed more to again replenish their numbers. Until eventually you have walking stakes just everywhere around your colony. Delicious, but annoying. To combat this, here are a few holding pen tips that I've taken from the Mine Colonies Discord. Put a pressure plate outside of the gate so that the cow hand will press it whenever they leave the pen, which will close the gate behind them. Create an airlock pen by having a second layer of fences and gates before the main pen. If any cows do manage to escape, 
then they are at least trapped within this secondary pen, which you can then easily lead them back through into the main one. Create a tunnel and fill it with scaffolding, and replace any gates with solid fences around the pen. Your idiots can still use the scaffolding to get down and up into the pen, but the animals will not be able to use them to escape. The front page of the Cowhands Hut interface will show the name of the hut and its upgrade level unless you have renamed the build. You can also see the Cowhand assigned to work at the build here as well. Through the Manage Workers option, you can assign and unassign a Cowhand to the build. You can recall the Cowhand to their hut by pressing the Recall Worker option. The build options will show what is required to upgrade the hut as well as options to repair or deconstruct it. Pick up Priority will determine how much of an effort that your couriers will make to come pick up items from the hut. A higher priority level means that the couriers will make more of an effort to collect more frequently. You can also force couriers to pick up items immediately by clicking the Request Pick Up Now option. The inventory button will show you what type of items are in the building storage, with the chest icon beside it allowing you to search for a specific item. The minimum stock tab will allow you to specify items that the cowhand should always have within their storage. Wheat, axes and empty buckets are always good items to have stocked within the build. The settings tab displays a list of all of the different toggleable options for the cowhand. Here, you can set if the cowhand breeds their cows or not, which will also determine if your cowhand will butcher their cows. Through the feeding option, you can toggle if the cowhand will use wheat to speed up the growth time of baby calves or not. And the final milking option will determine if your cowhand will milk their cows or not. And that is everything that you'll ever need to know about the cowhand and their hut. If you want a good supply of steak and milk into the colony, then this is a must-have build. As well as leather, of course. We mares have to keep warm and fashionable, after all. Thank you all for watching. Hit that like button if this tutorial has helped you out. And subscribe to the channel for more Mine Colonies content. I'll see you in the next one.